All right, so a little bit about chapter 11, Descent and Democracy. Um, some of the things I get into this chapter is really looking at like Matt and Trey's sort of perspective here, and I'll, qu I'll quote what they say. Um, and this is what Trey Parker says, is what we say with the show is that people screaming on this side and the people screaming on that side are the same people, and it's okay to be someone in the middle laughing at them. They're trying to point out um, the you know, the um, paradoxes of extremism that, you know, the extreme left or the extreme right are still extremist viewpoints and that, you know, to have a little bit more perspective, you need to at least position yourself in the middle and kind of look at how both, you know, extremist views can also be views of intolerance, um, which is something we'll talk a little bit um, about here, but really what South Park really lambastes, what they really lampoon, what they, who they go at are extremists, religious zealots, political zealots, uh, celebrity zealots. Um, they really rip into that. Any sort of extremist viewpoints, they, they, they try to really go in on. And I think that's really Im important. Um, they ridicule them, they undermine their authority, but they give these, these vastly different and these extreme and often harmful viewpoints free speech on South Park. They give them their free speech. They give the intolerant uh, their, their, their moment of free speech to undermine their authority and to critique them. So they, you know, a big part of this though uh, is they try to show and critique the left. Now, a lot of what you see in the mainstream media is not often a critique of the left. There's most films that you see, TV shows, they're often left-leaning because the media is primarily more leftist, um, you know, through ownership on down to the content that, that, that's created. Um, and so, you know, you always hear critiques about the liberal media, liberal celebrities and all that stuff. And what South Park tries to do is to also critique them to also show how the left is hyper elitist and also very hypocritical in some of their viewpoints. So they like rip on hippies, you know, who, who preach tolerance. Oh, this motherfucker is mowing his lawn. God damn it. How many days are you gonna mow your fucking lawn for? Um, anyways. Um, so they talk about, in this chapter, Karl Popper, who was a philosopher of science primarily, but he had some things to say uh, about, about this. Like, you know, his main idea was like, scientific theory could not be proven, it could only be falsified. So you couldn't prove it right or wrong, you could, all, you could only prove it false, which is different. Um, he also had a viewpoint of anti-authoritarian or anti-totalitarian, um, views and so he thought a lot about society and he had he had two types of societies that he that he spoke about one was a closed society these are groups whose customs traditions belief systems values etc etc are rigid they're closed to critique okay um, he would call these like tribal now you could look at this as something like uh, the Church of Scientology is one uh, is one that would maybe come to my mind as a group you know who's closed to critique and South Park actually rips on the Church of Scientology right uh, in an episode that that we'll wa we'll watch here soon okay but closed societies weren't like a public sphere weren't into these societies weren't into evolution through critique and and stuff like that their their views were the right views they they were closed minded you know so to speak. Now, then you have that in contrast to open societies. Open societies were, um, you know, where public discussion, the public sphere, where debate um, and civic engagement were major, major, major parts of, of exchange of ideas. And these exchange of ideas would lead to, you know, social change, right? Like you could be critiqued. You could see your views and your beliefs being critiqued, and that would lead to an alternative way that was maybe better for, for people. So things like civil liberties and human rights come from open societies. Um, freedom of religion and freedom for cultural practice and behavior. All that stuff comes from open societies. Closed societies are authoritarian or totalitarian, where one viewpoint, you know, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, or the viewpoint is the viewpoint 
it is truth it is it is the only way um you know and this you know you have this in religion certain religions and you have this uh in certain governments and certain national you know nationalities or, or countries or whatever where they have these sort of um you know closed societies where it's my way or the highway motherfucker um, but he saw that, you know, within these types of societies, who was the enemy? Who was the enemy specifically to an open society were extremists. And these extremists were not just on the right. These extremists were also on the left. So in South Park, you know, they really lump in all celebrities as pretty much mostly uh, left, the left sort of views, but they also rip on the extreme right, you know, uh, in Texas, uh, Texans versus, you know, Last of the Mexicans, where they have the Texans and they show that sort of viewpoint through Cartman. O often the extreme right is often espoused through Cartman. Um, and then the left, you know, is ultimately almost always um, going to be shown through the views of of celebrities and undermining their authorities and submitting them to the carnivalesque and uh, scatological and uh, you know grotesque body and stuff like that so Rob Reiner is an example where you know uh, you know he pushes his anti-smoking uh, you know measures on on people and you know they show him as grotesque and just to undermine the fact that you know he's he's suggesting no freedom of choice to smoke um, you know as an extreme leftist viewpoint so um, you know Popper would see these societies both on the extreme left or right as you know an enemy to the open society and South Park does too I mean they really they don't attack the left or right, they just attack extremist viewpoints. And they think that extremism, right, uh, you know, harms freedom, harms liberty, harms choice. Now, Popper also had this idea, which, which he talks about, and it kind of feels a little confusing, but it's called the paradox of tolerance. Anytime you have paradox, um, let's get fucking confused, right? Um, but basically, he thought that for societies to be truly open, you had to really have an intolerance of intolerance, right? Wow. Which means that you could not tolerate intolerant viewpoints. Because what happens is if you tolerate intolerance, right, those intolerant viewpoints will ultimately destroy those who tolerated them. So, um, you know, if we look at the, you know, this image right here where it talks about, it's a cartoon image that talks about the paradox of tolerance, which uses, you know, Nazis, Nazism as an, as an example. If you, as an open society, you know, like in America, where you allow for free speech, where you allow, um, you know, white supremacists to have their free speech because they are protected by the Constitution. You allow this, you know, the potential that, as Popper saw, would those viewpoints would overtake society and would crush the people that tolerated that intolerance. So the only way to have an open, you know, healthy society is for you to basically um, not tolerate that shit as, as a society and that would be how you'd overcome it, okay? So like his basic idea was like, those who kind of, who want to um, undermine free speech, okay, in so many ways, or free thought, freedom of thought primar primarily, right, um, they should be prevented from the same. So extremists are always pushing their thought as the way of thinking, as the way of being. And he thinks that's, harm he thinks that's harmful. And basically what t South Park does is they ultimately critique intolerance and intolerance on the left and intolerance on the, on the right. So they, they, they look at how, you know, yeah, there's people who, you know, you know, fucking hippies, right? Oh man, everybody's cool, man. We love everybody unless you're not a vegan. And if you believe in organized religion and you don't like super sweet bongo drum circles and you don't smoke weed, you know, well, that, you know, that's not equity, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so like, that's one of the things is like, how, how can like, you know, um, left groups that uh, scream about equity also be, you know, intolerant and extremist, you know? Although maybe they see their virtues as being good and their virtues are, are great because equity is super important. 
but when you bring it to the extreme, right, and, and, and you're intolerant of the other side, that's the people who need to fucking hear that shit, but they need to hear it in a way that's not extremist, if, 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 you, know what, if you catch my drift with that. Um, so South Park just sits in the middle, which maybe it'd be a dangerous thing to sit in the middle. 